subscribe right now or she'll be in your bed tonight. New r slash ask credit by reddit top posts. What is something that you would never confess to your family? That my mother, who always said time and time again that she will never turn into her mother, has turned into her mother. My sisters and I have formed a pact. If any of us start exhibiting signs of becoming like our parents it is the solemn duty of the rest of the sisters to bring that ch back to reality, or in the event that this fails, execute her. We have all accepted that this is for the greater good. My extended family thinks I've had no career or salary advancement for 10 years. I play a bumbling idiot with them who just can't catch a break. Reason being, they're a cavalcade of self-inflicted sob stories and GoFundMe grifters. I don't want to be hit up for loans every other week. I'm actually a senior manager at an established consulting firm. If they had a good reason for their misery other than got drunk with the money for bills and didn't pay them I would help them out. Pretending to be a struggling idiot deflects any attempts at soliciting me for money. Note, I live out of state from them and they don't travel. So I only have to maintain this foolish charade for Thanksgiving and Christmas. My parents are in on it. I joined the Navy to get away from them, not because I felt some sort of patriotic duty like they tell people. I liked it, I found a purpose, I got great training that got me the job I have today. But I did it because I hated it at home. Edit, wow this blew up. I've been trying to answer questions, and DMs but I was on mobile last night, so sorry if I didn't get to them until this morning. Just a little elaboration, I was in from 1997 to 2005. Joined after high school, that I was expelled from but graduated through the special programs and was on probation, because of why I was expelled. I was acting out a lot because of home life. A lot has changed in training, so I'll answer questions as best I can. Thanks for all the support and the awards. I use Reddit. Both of my parents hate me talking to people online because they think I'm going to get kidnapped or raped or something, so I'm not allowed to post slash comment slash like anything by people they don't know. Edit, could you all quit asking for my personal info? I get that it's a joke, but I'm a minor and I'm actually kinda getting tired and uncomfortable. Ty. I'm really happy to only see them once or twice a year due to living 3000 miles away. I just can't stand them. They all gossip and talk tea and spin their wheels so much you can't even have a normal conversation with any of them. It's all drama and always has been. I never understood how and why I was so depressed my entire life, found escapism through alcohol and partying. Since I've lived across the country I'm sober, have a super awesome family and I barely ever see them, it's great. My younger aunt and I almost fooled around when we were kids. We didn't know about each other and when we both met she was 13, I was 15. As we grew up there was a ton of flirting and sexual tension. It never came to anything thank God, but we had some intimate conversations around it. Oddly enough both of us are very close today and have even spoke about how ridiculous the whole thing was. Edit for some FAQ and comments. Technically my half aunt. Mom had me at 16, grandpa had an affair with another woman, produced my aunt two years later, and subsequently left grandmother for other woman. For the record, both of those women are lovely. I rarely see the grandmother who lives far away but the other woman lives in the same state and sees her great grandson and I with some frequency. Neither of us want to bone the other anymore, and at least one of us is happily married. We're both embarrassed but I think she's more embarrassed than I am. That being said, she is very attractive and younger me fantasized about it a lot and I will always have those fantasies with me. We have children and those children see each other infrequently, attend each other's birthday parties yada yada. We've rarely talked about it. But when we have it's very dismissive like what the hell was wrong with us, type thing. Obviously, it's always there for me and I'm pretty sure for her. I can't interact with her without thinking, hey remember that time we talked about fooling around and then never did? Up until about a year ago, I said I would take to my grave that my stepdad molested me for almost 30 years. But I outed the due date months ago. Cheers. Edit, I've never felt so much love from strangers. I love Reddit. I'm going to spend tomorrow reading everyone's comments. You all matter, and if this post encourages even one person to speak their truth, it was worth it. Thank you, kind strangers. Edit again, it's not my job to explain to all of you what sexual assault, child abuse, and rape mean. I apologize that the public education system has failed you. I really don't enjoy spending time with them. I've been the black sheep since I was a child and it ks when the entire family thinks of you as the mean one then wonder why you don't have any interest in spending time with them. I used to smoke meth. I've been clean for 13 years now and they'll never know. Edit, holy tea. Thank you for the golden F button. 
To answer a few questions, I smoked for 5 years. I got into a huge fight with my parents and moved to another city so no one really saw me and this was before Facebook and T so there wasn't any gross pics being posted. I got clean with some help, moved back, and made up with my family. I'm running out of excuses on why I won't watch Breaking Bad though. In the worst part of my alcoholism I tried to overdose on sleeping pills. In the way to the hospital my mom said it might have been better for everyone if I just did the deed. I haven't forgiven her and I don't know if I can. Edit. Thank you for the messages. I read them all even if I didn't reply. I've bettered myself since this happened almost 7 years ago. I'll have 3 years in September. I still love my mother and I understand how she could say this in the moment. I know what I did and I accept responsibility. I hope I can separate my own pain and insecurity, and like a few people said therapy would help, once I have health insurance again. I don't want vindication or revenge for what happened. Someone I love said something devastating to me at my lowest point. As you slash Atrika said, I understand why she did this, but I'm not okay with it. At least not yet. That I don't feel like part of the family, I feel like I don't belong and like I am just a substitute for when my brother isn't around. I don't feel respected or wanted, I feel like my girlfriend's family likes me more than they do and if I had the funds too I would've moved out long ago and they probably wouldn't have seen or heard from me since apart from maybe Christmas and that is only because of my cousins. In 3rd grade, I cheated on my history exam. In 4th grade, I stole my Uncle Max's toupee and I glued it on my face when I was Moses in my Hebrew school play. In 5th grade, I knocked my sister Edie down the stairs and I blamed it on the dog, when my mom sent me to the summer camp for fat kids and then they served lunch I went nuts and I pigged out and they kicked me out, but the worst thing I ever done, I mixed a pot of fake puke at home and then I went to this movie theater, hid the puke in my jacket, climbed up to the balcony and then, then, I made a noise like this, hua 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 why, and then I dumped it over the side, all over the people in the audience. And then, this was horrible, all the people started getting sick and throwing up all over each other. I never felt so bad in my entire life. My husband knows, but I am very apathetic and don't feel a lot. I do feel and have feelings but not the same as other people seem to. I know what I should feel and have learned how to react when I need to but I tend to truly only feel more extreme emotions and the rest of the time I am just content or neutral. That I was sexually abused by a friend of my mother's when I was about 7 years old. My brother was by a different person and that is known. There is nothing to be gained. Edit. Thank you guys for your comments and messages, you are as a majority as awesome as I thought you would be. Was raped in elementary school, attempted suicide, have depression and social anxiety. Edit. Thanks everyone for yours comments and the awards. I'm not in the best place right now, but will do my best to move past it. I am still scared to see a therapist, but definitively will when the situation with COVID-19 will calm down and it's definitively thanks to you. Thank you also very much for your comments and support. A family member used to live in our home, groomed me and sexually abused me when I was around 12 years slash oh. Not sure about the age, don't really want to remember. But yeah, I don't think I would ever tell them. I'm not even sure they would believe me. That I don't agree with the half of their VWs that sometimes range anything from racist comments, laziness, lifestyle etc. Not anything special but it's a bit annoying when you want to strike up a constructive debate but it would only turn to yelling. Quick edit because I'm new to reddit and this 1000 upvotes makes me feel very validated even if it may seem a small number to others, thanks my friends. I'm bisexual. I'm not ashamed of it at all, I'm out to everyone non-family. I've been with my boyfriend for 4 years and I just see no reason to risk them freaking out about it, and I'm not that close with them anyway. As much as I try, it's next to impossible to articulate how they made us, my siblings and myself, feel as children and the deep-seated emotional trauma that brings with it. We love each other even now, and by no means were they terrible people or the kind of parents that I'd have been taken away with. They did their best and tried so hard, but they aren't perfect and their mistakes cut deep. I still have a relationship with both of them and I love them dearly. I guess that's probably why I'll never tell them how awful it all was. I physically can't bring myself to. It's like trying to talk when your tongue goes numb. I can't imagine breaking it to them that they get. Three years ago, my family and I were as close as can be. Then one day, I drove home from school, and had to park on the road because my normal spot in the driveway was taken up by a car that I'd never seen before. Both my parents cars were in the driveway and my sister was almost always home by this point, so I figured it was one of her friends from school or something. I opened the door, and apparently didn't make that much noise, 
because after I'd opened it, I heard a woman who was definitely not my mom or my sister yelling, in what I thought was pain. I've never told anyone else what I saw when I walked down the hall and opened the door. My dad was inside who I found out later was a friend of his from work. His eyes and mine locked a split second before his grew as big as basketballs. He sat up on the bed, staring at me with a mixture of fear and anger in his eyes. Through gritted teeth, in a voice that I've never forgotten since, he said, quietly but forcefully, you should have added a serious tag to this question, 